New imagery emerging from China in recent days may point to a significant shift in how the country plans to operate large, low-observable combat drones in the future. Photos circulating online show stealthy, catapult-capable unmanned aircraft positioned near a shipyard in Shanghai alongside a series of highly unusual multi-axle trucks. Together, these elements suggest that China may be exploring the ability to launch heavy fixed-wing drones not only from ships but also directly from the ground using a mobile electromagnetic catapult system. If confirmed, such a capability would provide China with a powerful new way to deploy large drones in environments where access to conventional runways is limited or entirely unavailable. A modular, truck-mounted electromagnetic launch system would allow heavy unmanned aircraft to be launched from ports, industrial areas, coastal zones, or even forward positions close to the battlefield. This idea is not entirely new in global aerospace thinking, but the scale and apparent maturity of what has now been observed in China makes it particularly noteworthy. The images first appeared late last week and show multiple stealthy drones parked dockside at the Hudong Zhanghua shipyard in Shanghai. Nearby, observers have noted the presence of China's massive Type 076 amphibious assault ship, a vessel known to feature an electromagnetic catapult system. This proximity naturally raises the possibility that China is preparing for trials involving catapult-launched drones at sea. At the same time, the appearance of a separate cargo ship loaded with containerized vertical launch systems, sensors, and close-in defensive weapons at the same shipyard adds another layer of intrigue, suggesting experimentation with modular, multi-role naval platforms. While the drones themselves remain partially covered in the images, enough detail is visible to draw some important conclusions. Most notably, the nose landing gear on these aircraft includes reinforced launch bars, a clear indication that they are designed for catapult-assisted takeoff. This feature alone sets them apart from conventional runway-launched drones. There is also a visible fairing beneath the nose of the aircraft, hinting at the presence of sensors or mission systems, although its exact function cannot yet be confirmed. The overall shape and layout of the drones bear similarities to several known Chinese unmanned combat aircraft concepts. In particular, they resemble earlier loyal wingman designs that China has displayed in the past, which themselves were inspired in part by Western systems like the XQ-58 Valkyrie. However, the drones now seen at the shipyard appear larger and more robust than those earlier concepts, suggesting a new class of heavier, longer-range unmanned combat platforms. Perhaps even more intriguing than the drones themselves are the trucks seen alongside them. At least three eight-wheeled vehicles appear designed to connect together in a straight line, forming a continuous flat surface across their tops. One image shows a drone positioned at the rear of one of these trucks, with its nose gear locked into what looks very much like a catapult shuttle. The truck's sides are largely open, revealing extensive electrical wiring and large cylindrical components mounted above each wheel. These features strongly suggest that the trucks are not simple transporters. The exposed wiring points to a power-intensive system, while the cylindrical elements may be part of an electromagnetic launch mechanism or a self-leveling suspension system. A catapult of this type would need to be extremely stable to ensure a clean and safe launch, especially for heavy drones carrying sensitive payloads. Satellite imagery taken shortly after the photo surfaced appears to reinforce this interpretation. Multiple trucks can be seen parked in a line along the pier, with drones positioned both on and behind them. The arrangement closely matches what would be expected for a modular launch track assembled from multiple segments. While it is still possible that these vehicles serve a dual role as both transporters and launch platforms, their complexity goes far beyond what would normally be required for transport alone. If this system is indeed a ground-based electromagnetic catapult, it represents a practical application of technology long associated with aircraft carriers. Electromagnetic catapults offer several advantages over older steam-powered systems, including more precise control over launch forces, reduced stress on airframes, and faster reset times between launches. These benefits are particularly important for unmanned aircraft, which may carry delicate sensors or rely on lighter structures to maximize range and endurance.
Chinese industry has openly discussed concepts for ground-based electromagnetic catapults in recent years. Some designs have been advertised as modular systems capable of launching drones weighing up to two tons, with track length that can be adjusted depending on mission requirements. While the drones seen at the shipyard may exceed those early specifications, the modular nature of such systems means they could potentially be scaled up by adding more segments or increasing power output. The operational implications of such a capability are significant. A mobile catapult system would allow China to deploy air power in expeditionary scenarios where runways are scarce or vulnerable. This is particularly relevant in island chains, coastal regions, and high-altitude border areas, where building and defending fixed air bases is difficult. By launching drones closer to the front line, commanders could reduce transit time, increase on-station endurance, and respond more rapidly to emerging threats. There are also survivability advantages. A modular launch system could be broken down, dispersed, and relocated when not in use, making it much harder for an adversary to target. Unlike a fixed runway or airbase, a mobile catapult does not present a permanent, easily identifiable target. This aligns closely with modern military thinking, which emphasizes mobility, deception, and resilience in the face of long-range precision strikes. Recovery of drones launched in this way remains open question. Some unmanned systems could land at conventional airfields elsewhere, while others might use parachutes, arresting gear, or even be designed as one-way attack platforms with no recovery at all. Each option would depend on mission type and operational context. Importantly, the absence of a recovery system does not diminish the value of a launch capability, especially for reconnaissance or strike missions where flexibility and reach are paramount. The broader strategic context is also important. China has long emphasized the need to operate in environments where traditional infrastructure may be denied or degraded. This includes maritime regions in the Pacific as well as remote land borders. A ground-based electromagnetic catapult fits neatly into this doctrine, offering a way to project air power without relying on large vulnerable bases. It is also worth noting that major new Chinese military capabilities often become visible at the end-of-year period, sometimes without formal announcements. The fact that these drones and trucks appeared openly at a major shipyard without apparent efforts to conceal them suggests a degree of confidence and possibly an intention to signal capability rather than hide it. While many questions remain unanswered, including the exact status of the system and whether it has been tested operationally, the evidence points towards serious experimentation with mobile electromagnetic launch technology. If successful, it could fundamentally change how and where large drones are deployed, both from land and potentially from non-traditional naval platforms. As more details emerge, this development may come to be seen as another step in China's broader push towards flexible, infrastructure-independent military systems. Whether these trucks are early prototypes or part of a more advanced program, they highlight a clear direction of travel in modern warfare, where mobility, modularity, and unmanned systems increasingly shape the battlefield. This is Mighty Military, bringing you in-depth analysis of the technologies and strategies redefining modern air power. Stay informed and stay ahead.